Okay, so this is a super quick video today. I literally just wanted to make a short follow-up video to the last video I made. Now, if you didn't see that last video I made, it was all about video editing on an iPad Pro using LumaFusion. Now, that last video has had an amazing response, so thank you to everyone that has watched it and clicked subscribe and clicked like as well. It is massively appreciated. And if you're not already clicked subscribe, do click that little subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and come and be a part of this community which is growing quite quickly at the moment. I am massively excited about it, so thank you very much. Now in that last video, I mentioned plugging your iPad into an external monitor so you could almost use it like a normal computer with a keyboard and mouse. And I had a few people asking me how you actually go about doing that. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video very quickly. Now. Obviously you do need an external monitor and you need your iPad, but the main thing you need apart from those is your Thunderbolt USB-C cable. This is all you need. This is as simple as it gets. Now you literally plug your Thunderbolt cable into your iPad and up on the screen will load your iPad. As simple as that. Now you obviously still get all your touch functionality so you can scroll through your list of apps like that and go in and just use it as a touch screen with an external monitor which is incredible. However you can also connect your keyboard and mouse via Bluetooth. So I already have these set up so you can use your Bluetooth mouse and scroll through just like that and you get a little cursor so if we go and find LumaFusion we can click on LumaFusion oops we don't want to do that we just want to open LumaFusion there we go that is now open and we have connected our keyboard as well so if I start this is really weird using it the opposite way around I'm having to properly let me pop this behind here to get it out of the way we can start a new project the keyboard is connected through Bluetooth as well, so you can just use it as a normal computer. There's our project. You can add links to your folders, so you can bring in all of your video clips. You can just use the Photos app from your iPhone library. So here's a really dodgy clip of me playing golf in slow motion. And there we go, that is in there and you can edit on your iPad Pro with an external monitor just like a normal computer. And it does make it a little bit easier than using the touchscreen functionality for video editing because it can be quite fiddly and you get a much bigger display here. And as well, you can obviously, as we mentioned before, still use it as a touchscreen with the Apple Pencil as well. It is really, really clever, incredibly simple to set up. Now, as you can see here, if I just go into the home screen, you do obviously get the two black bars down the outside. And that is because the aspect ratio on the iPad is different to the monitor and there is no current setting to be able to change that. However, who knows what might happen at WWDC in a few weeks with the release of the new iPads next week. This might all change again. You might be able to completely fit your screen to your external monitor to get rid of the black bars and make use of the whole screen. We might have a completely different look. We might even be able to use Final Cut on the iPad. That is what I'm really hoping for. That is how you use your iPad with an external monitor. It is incredibly easy. You can just use it as you would and be able to do everything you want to be able to do. Now, there are some drawbacks besides all the positives. You do obviously only have the one USB-C port or if you're buying a new iPad in a couple of weeks, a Thunderbolt port. So if you wanted to plug in anything else such as an external hard drive, you would need to buy a, a dongle so you could plug in your display and your drive at the same time. But apart from that, apart from only having one port, which there are ways around because you can buy dongles, that is it, it's incredibly easy. I absolutely love it. So yeah, go and have fun with iPads and external monitors. 
let me know how you get on with it. Let me know your little iPad monitor desk setup. If you have one or if you're thinking of setting up one, let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe just down below there if you aren't already subscribed and come and be a part of this community. That's it for this video. I shall see you all very soon in another one.